Hi everyone! One of the things I love doing when I go to Japan is going to arcades or game centres. So today I'm going to tell you about what you can find in them, where you can find them, and how you can have your own UFO catcher experience at home. What's in Japanese arcades? Now on the ground floor they usually have a floor of UFO catchers. They're the claw machines where you control the claw and try and grab a prize. They have them on the ground level to tempt you in. They often have a big bank of gachapon machines as well. They're the capsule toy machines where you can get a keychain or a little figure or some random little prize and you might have seen them in my videos. Now, as with a lot of shops and buildings in Japan, arcades are usually over several levels, so you need to go upstairs to explore and find everything there is. Sometimes they have a sign telling you what's on each level, and you can usually find some more gachapon machines around the stairs as well. If you go up, they usually have another floor of UFO catchers, sometimes even two more, and then sometimes they have a floor of Purikura machines. They're the photo booths where you can take your picture with your friends and decorate them with stickers and scribble on them. It's really fun and it's a great souvenir of your trip. Even if you're not into selfies and taking pictures of yourself, it's just a really fun thing to do. Often they'll have the beauty features where they make your eyes really big and blur your skin and things, which is really funny, especially if you take a picture with guys because it distorts them as well and they look so funny. I've got some really good ones. Quite often the Purikura floor has a rule where it's only for groups of all girls or mixed groups or mixed couples. That's because traditionally it's a place for girls to go and hang out and take pictures with their friends and they don't want creepy guys bothering them while they're trying to take their pictures. So if you're a group of all guys you might not be allowed in. Then if you go up a level in the arcade you'll come to the games. There's often several floors and there's all sorts. Rhythm games are really popular. There's one called Groove Coaster. I've seen Vocaloid ones and there's a really popular round one where people hit the sides and quite often they have some gloves on the side so you don't hurt your hands. And you'll also find DDR or dance mat games as well. They're one of my favourites. There's lots of games you need cards for that people collect and then when you put them on the table it makes certain characters or items appear in the game and they're really popular. There's also sports games, horse racing, fighting games, simulator type games. There's one where you go in and you're the driver of a train and it has gloves and a little hat for you. And there's loads of really fun, just random games as well. I played one called the Bishy Bashy, which had loads of really quick party games where you had to bash the buttons. And there's one where you're a guy who gets really fed up during his day and he comes home and flips the table and the arcade game's got an actual table that you flip up to get points. So there's loads of games that are really worth going out for because they have things that you wouldn't have with your games console at home. And in Japan there really is a culture of people going out to game centres to play rather than just playing on their own at home. Japanese arcades really are worth visiting. It's not like arcades in the UK which are sort of tired places at the seaside that are a bit tacky. They really are fun places to go. If you don't speak Japanese you will still be able to enjoy the games. You might have to guess a few things in the menu but I've been with friends who don't read any Japanese at all and they've still had a lot of fun in the arcades. Most things are 100 yen per play and you will need coins. Most arcades have a cash changing machine so you can feed in your paper money and it'll give you coins for the machines and some of them take your Suica card, your train card, but for most of them you will need cash. Where to find arcades? Now the place where you'll find the most arcades is of course Akihabara, the Otaku Central of Tokyo where you'll find all the anime shops and loads and loads of arcades. And if you wanna win figures from the UFO catchers, that's the best place to go. But you can find them in all the major areas. If you go to the nightlife districts where people hang out in the evening, you'll definitely find arcades there. So if you go to Ikebukuro, there's some really good ones there, Shibuya, Shinjuku, especially around the Kabukicho area where it's really busy in the evening, you'll find arcades there too. You don't need to look up where they are, they're pretty easy to find. You'll see a big Sega sign outside or Taito is another big chain and there's also independent ones as well. And they're always open at the front, you'll be able to see all the UFO catches and anyone's welcome to go in, have a look and play on whatever you like. They're open all day and they're open pretty late in the evening so you can go along after you've had your dinner or been to a bar and they'll still be open quite late. What can you win from UFO catchers? You can win anime figures. This time I saw quite a lot of Disney figures as well and the cute poskets with the big eyes, they look really cute. 
You can win plushies, you'll see really big plushies and smaller keychain ones. You can win sweets, they have big boxes of biscuits or chocolates or candy. Cute merchandise like cute bags or towels. And sometimes they have some really random prizes that I think they put in just because they're so strange. Like once we saw a box of men's underwear. <laughs> how to win at UFO catchers. Now I wish I could tell you this, but I don't know. I am absolutely hopeless at them, but I do know it is possible to win and I've seen people win so many times. It's always really funny because you hear all this shouting and people are so excited when they win something. It's a real sense of achievement. So if you know how to win prizes, tell me in the comments and next time I'll bring all the prizes home. What I do know is it takes several goes to win. The claws are quite weak, so they're not gonna just pick up your prize. So it's all about nudging it over gradually so you can win after several goes. Or sometimes you can watch if someone else has been playing for a while and then swoop in and win the prize. Oh.